Professor Frank Chindamo, and we are going to be creating a web video series using virtual reality as a pre-visualization software in order to make better, faster, higher quality projects. Hi, my name is Paula, and this is my partner, Sonia. And we're going to do a web series about the happiest girl in the country. We're going to show a few facts about Finland and why Finland is the happiest country. I'm Tullius and I'm producing this series. It's called Almost Ordinary. It's a, basically a comedy series that's created with special effects. Julian McRae, who you're looking at right there. Julian brings ideas from the BBC. Hi everyone, it's really exciting to hear all the diverse story concepts. Julian, uh, you wanted to talk a little bit about character. So if you were like going down the route of, I am the happiest person in the world, and then mm -hmm. interviewing people who were incredibly miserable. But it only comes from your character, then that's someone I want to come back into. You're really, really happy. That's where the comedy comes. <laughs> Start with your character. Is he alone? Does he live with two cats? For the VFX stuff to really work, there needs to be a normalcy of the everyday character. Exactly. So that when these extraordinary things happen, you allow that juxtaposition. When you get out of writing development and you start to try and think about how you want to create the world, this is a virtual environment, like a dollhouse, to allow you to figure out camera shots and then storyboard very quickly. Hello, hello. Hey, Jules. Hello. Okay, so let's say this is your main character. How do you want a character represented to the audience? To run towards camera, like if they're excited. It will be close to you. You got an idyllic scene. There would be some music. And like birds chirping, right? Yeah. Just it's gonna, gonna be going. from the side everything. She's gonna walk to the screen in the middle of it and then she's gonna smile all the time and then she's gonna put the sunglasses on and then she's gonna carry on. Ah. She's gonna go to the woods, she's gonna eat there one wow. carrel and birka, which is a finished wow. food. Okay, great. All right, you've seen it done before. See what you can do. Like here would be a table. Or something that will make out the table, right? Yeah, and now we're basically like looking at my apartment like that maybe ah oh, that's an interesting show character comes in from here he walks behind the counter close up of him taking the coffee and then the camera would be back he turns around over on this side you're gonna see the explosion i was thinking to do from very far so that you would see the whole apartment is on fire This is Kerttu Liisa. She comes from Finland and therefore she is the happiest girl. After all, Finland is the happiest country in the world. It's a bit cold outside today. I saw very dark clouds. Kerttu Liisa just loves to pay high taxes. She believes that it helps the country. Hey. Um, just one thing. I'll be a little late for work today. Well, I thought this course with a uh, virtual film school was really interesting because I don't think our students have been using virtual reality that much and, and obviously getting this guidance from Hollywood people that was really, really exciting for the students. The virtual reality was, was really cool. It was really cool to use the glasses. Virtual film school, it's been really something new. It was really nice experience. To be honest, first I was thinking how useful is this gonna be because this is not a multi-million dollar project. But now I think this really helps to make decisions on what I'm actually gonna do. I really appreciated the professional touch on the ideas, process and feedback. I think that was maybe the most valuable thing. I gained a lot new ways to look at things when making a video or a film. Using virtual reality was very eye-opening. I never actually have filmed anything before, so that was 
like my first experience in that scene so that was amazing to actually experience it in such a cool way i'm really really happy for this opportunity the greatest part for me has been the making of the script the working on the writing because that's been really where i've been struggling and i really love the bond that's happened between all of us i love the fact that i'm not just working on my own project i'm somehow part of them rooting for all the projects the good thing about this course was that it was really focused on monetization and and actually making a career out of it and I know that many teams have continued making films even after the course so hoping that they will find a maybe even a future career out of this. <laughs>